Hey friends, welcome back to my channel on Feral's Mad World and this is Feral. So today I am at a cheese factory and I'll show how cheese is made. Hi, my name is Gianluca. I'm the uh, managing director and owner of uh, Cheese World. Uh, welcome to our uh, factory. And uh, you are now witnessing uh, the milk receiving that we have each morning. When uh, milk is received, uh, we need to check on quality, and uh, so which is a compromise that we don't at all uh, uh, fail on. So milk is checked on its uh, fat content, on its uh, uh, acidity, content of antibiotic and uh, foreign parts. Uh, we have our own uh, uh, standards which are actually uh, worldwide recognized as a dairy, um, as a dairy receiving uh, SOPs. So welcome to our factory and enjoy your day with us. Milk is poured in this container for skimming the milk. The first operation is to skim the milk and the fat. This milk is mixed with full fat and pasteurized milk for processing some types of cheese. So in the big container it's milk and in the wide container it's 85% fat content cream. So the cream is used to make sour cream mascarpone and also it is used in a customized order to make cottage cheese. This factory nearly processes 1600 liters of milk in a day to which around 3600 to 3900 kg of cheese is produced every month. In this container, the milk is boiled by steam boiling method. Steam heating is very fast and it's a proper way of heating milk. This machine is steam boiler. Milk is heated not by direct heating, but by indirect heating. Steam goes inside the jacket of each bad pasteurizer and heats the milk in a proper way, so that it doesn't change its characteristics. As you can see, the temperature is moving up. Before it was on 22 and now it's on 28. Steam heating is very fast and it's a proper way of heating milk. As you can see, steam has started producing. So right now I'm uh, out of the milk process room and we have to wait for one hour and then I can show you how cheese is made. When milk reaches the needed temperature, rennet is added, which is an ingredient to curdle the milk. Basically, rennet breaks down fat, protein and casein and turns milk into a pudding state like a cream caramel. And then the curd is broken and it separates whey and the cheese. Ricotta in Italian means recooked again. Ricotta is taken to high temperature and acidifiers is added and then whey turns into ricotta. So now curd is deposited under whey and now fermentation will take place. It will take 3 to 3.5 hours before it is molded and stretched to mozzarella. Hey guys, as you have seen that making of cheese isn't a fast procedure, it takes lots of time. It takes around um, 7 hours and now we have to wait for more 3 to 4 hours and then the cheese would go for stretching and molding. So I will be back in the afternoon to show you that process. So stay tuned. So 
सो गाइज आई एम बैक टू चीज वर्ल्ड इन द आफ्टरनून एंड आई एम सॉरी फॉर द इंटरप्शन विच इज़ गोइंग ऑन देर इट्स दी आर अजान विच दे आर रीडिंग बट सो आई एम बैक टू द चीज वर्ल्ड एंड नाउ ही विल शो मी दैट हाउ द चीज इज स्ट्रेच एंड मोल्डेड सो टूडे ही विल बी शोइंग मी अबाउट द टू चीज द रिकोता एंड द मोजरेला सो लेट्स सी हाउ इट्स मेड Once the curd reaches the desired acidity, the curd is crumbled and added into hot boiling water, and then they start stretching. As we have uh, effect of mozzarella on pizza, that's what we'll see in stretching. And once stretching is done, it's molded into balls, and then it is ready for packaging and to sell in shops and to the customers. So right now he just said that I can try my hands on making mozzarella cheese. So it's an experience for me. One hand, two hands. Two hands. You have to use both hands. Okay. Okay. It's, it's very hot. Yes, it's it's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot. It's too hot. Like <laughs> Now fold it inside with your with your. Oh, this is extremely. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is nice. <laughs> How do you deal with so much of? <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> so this is how we do it. Uh, And then we do a, a whole. We do like this, huh? Just push it exactly. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. So this is the one which I made, right? What is yours? You can't take it home. This is my creation. <laughs> Can I dip it inside the water? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is so fun. The cheese is very stretchy as you can see and it's really hot. Can you see my hands? It has turned red because it was really very hot. He poured hot boiling water, and so you can see the redness. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. all red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all red. <laughs> so now the mozzarella cheese is being packed, and this is how they do the packing. So basically in the process of ricotta whey is heated in three stages of temperature to get the result ricotta is then filled in the container and is left overnight for draining and cooling down and then the next day morning it is ready for packaging and it's ready to go to the shops So guys as you have seen that um, the ricotta cheese uh, for ricotta cheese the ricotta is poured in this white container uh, this are the ricotta molds and um, it is kept in this container for overnight so that the water is drained and the next day morning at around 6 6:30 they will pack it So guys this is it. So this is a video how cheese is made. How it's made. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye.